apologize yesterday after I did a video response to the Freak Show. I said I was going to do a video that I said I was going to do like six or seven months ago on my old account. And I never did that video. This, to me, is the best definition of a juggalo. Alright, uh, I haven't done like juggler related videos in a long time now. I'm quick capturing this, so if my mouth doesn't go with the words, I apologize. Just listen. If you would like to hear. Uh, I forget where I found this. It wasn't on Wikipedia. People fucking say, search Wikipedia. It might it might be put on Wikipedia now, but this... I didn't find this on Wikipedia. I forget why I, where, I, where I found it. Um... Doing a video, so... Hold on a second. What? Oh, by the way, the reason I didn't do this video yesterday is due to the fact that Eric showed up and we were hanging out. Uh, here's the best definition of a juggalo to me. It's, on my, it's off my MySpace, which I'll put a link in the description. I believe it's over that way. I haven't pointed it in a while. I don't do videos often anymore. This to me is the best definition of a juggalo. Now I hope it's still recording because I just flipped to a different tab. Here we go. It says, first off, the term juggalo is unise unisexual. A juggalo is someone who has been saved by the dark carnival. Unisexual means male or female. Many people don't recognize the intelligence behind the music. It is a satire. Their intention is to influence people to free their minds. The most beautiful thing in the world to experience. Recipe for wisdom equals weed and music. Um, we are anti-prejudice, as in sexism, racism, etc., we know that karma is real and don't see life in black and white, but with more colors than the gay pride parade. Uh, a juggalo is someone who lives for their themselves, meaning they realize that if you care what other people think about you and try hard to be accepted, then you will always be a slave to your own mind. Free your fucking mind. A juggalo is someone who enjoys life to the fullest that possibly can and stops to smell the roses, meaning living your life in the moment. It's not about having all the gear, posters, albums, and trivia knowledge. You don't have to know what Fago or Annetin is, or even have ever heard of psychopathic records in order to be a juggalo. A juggalo is an enlightened, reawakened person with a discovered wisdom beyond their years. Yes, there are hound dogs who haven't discovered what the Dark Carnival is really is about, and perhaps sadly, never will, and just really want to belong somewhere and have a loving family they never had. That is what you find with the fam, much motherfucking wicked clown love. Sure, there are many posers, trashy people around at shows and mini gatherings but a real juggalo would show them love anyway in order to show them who we are and what we represent and welcome them to a life free of worries and shame and regret where you are where you are free to not give a fuck with wonderful people who think like you and have felt like you in the past if you're a real juggalo then love and understanding flows naturally yes there are uh, Oh no, I didn't just read that. It's the same thing though. Yes, there are hound dogs posers that haters stereotype as us. But we all, but we were all that at first. We were all that at first. And you know it, homies, so shut up. I, I actually started out as a fucking poser, so yeah. I was like, oh, I want to be cool. The important thing is that we know who we are now and pity haters who don't know. We look past the superficial and easily see through bullshit. Our philosophy is the golden rule with a twist. Treat others the way you want to be treated, but don't take any shit. We see all human beings as equal. We give respect where it is deserved. We don't put anyone on a pedestal. We appreciate the psychopathic family efforts, especially ICP, yeah, I said it, to fish us out of the hole we were in 
and true jugglers are extremely grateful for their replenished loving soul. True jugglers know they don't need the music anymore. We are now able to care for others and try to help all that we can. A true juggler doesn't limit their musical taste and many appreciate slash listen to all types of music. Most importantly, yeah, like I listen to Manson and fucking Nine Inch Nails, etc., etc. Most importantly, a real ass juggalo is not a sheep. They are leaders and independent and free thinking role models. We juggalo family recognize real fam when we meet them. We don't try to be somebody else. We are real ass people, real as they come. We speak our mind and keep it real and hate acting fake with a good, how are you? Yeah, I'd say that at work when people talk to me. Very importantly, we see our our glass as half full instead of half empty. We appreciate what and who we have in our lives instead of focusing on the negative like we used to. So yes, real jugglers are optimistic people who used to be pessimistic during a dark time in our lives when we have given up and forgotten love. Thanks to the message of the Dark Carnival, we now know that God is love, been forgiven, and will never be duped by the lying ass demons again. Stay strong, my ninjas. I don't believe in God, but, you know. And Juffalos, stop talking shit like I put babies in blenders or I'm gonna ass fuck Eminem. Or what the fuck is that? Example, I will always be a juggalo from here to the wagon to Shangri-La. Bitch, what? <sighs> That's pretty much what it is. Alright, so I hope I got all that. But yeah, a lot of that, I really do relate to. Um, I had a shitty past. Most of us have. And there was one point where I was posing and I was like, Oh, this sounds cool. I want to be a juggalo. I'll listen to the music. I didn't even know who the fuck these people were when I started fucking listening to them. But at a point, I started, um, my ex, which was a boy, a guy, yeah, boy, that sounds really bad. No, I was, uh, 16 or 17 at the time, I was in my bisexual phase, and he was, like, 17 or 18, but, uh, and it was a long-distance relationship, it wasn't real life, but it was the only guy I ever dated, and... He was like a fucking dick, and the last thing he told me was I should blow my brains out. Uh, he was a juggalo, and after that, I was like, I hate juggalos. But I realized, and I started following the music more, and I started trying to understand it more. Uh, I researched it, as you would say, and uh, realized what it, the Dark Carnival was and everything, and it helped me and made me a better person. I know there's a bunch of haters out there that say, fuck that, fuck you, you're fucking gay. Well, fuck you, you're fucking gay. You don't understand this fucking shit. That's why you're so fucking stupid. So you want to fucking hate on a family that love each other. So, anyways, thank you for watching. That is the best definition of a juggalo to me. Much mother fucking wicked clown love. Peace. I'm gonna let it run because it's a fucking quick capture. Juggalos in the sky. I can get twice as high. Take a look, it's in Violent J's book, Behind the Paint. <laughs>